What's going on? What you guys doing? Have a new day? You are? Okay. Um, today's Monday. Martin Luther King Day. I didn't do anything today. I didn't even go to school today. But I do want to talk about some ethics and uh, just to introduce, you know, do, do a few things of ethics here on this channel that, you know, I don't normally do. Normally, I like the field of epistemology, metaphysics, and a little bit of aesthetics, but I, you know, I don't normally get beyond that, but I'm gonna go beyond that today when I do some ethics here. Um, we got the huge field of utilitarianism, utilitarianism, which is the ethical theory that whatever that that everything that things are intrinsically good when you get the most utility or social utility out of them social utility being whatever one wants um, not really a desire I mean it can be any kind of value theory I mean you can assign any kind of value theory to utility utility can be uh, any pleasure you want any certain desire you want any higher achievement of knowledge, any higher achievement of art, any higher skill, or anything like that. Um, social, social utility can, or, or utility can be anything like that. So it's basically to have the outcome, to have the best outcome with the most intrinsic good. And that's basically the goal of utilitarianism. It can be described in a lot of different ways, but it's basically to get utility. and. Utility can be described in a lot of different ways, but I'm just going to describe it as as any value perfectionist would say. A value perfectionist being one that um, one a value perfectionist is one that that wants to do things more beyond pleasures or desires. Who wants to achieve knowledge? Who wants to achieve higher knowledge? Who wants to achieve higher skills? Who wants to do more with their lives other than just you know pleasures and desires, you know, um, so u u utility can mean any of those things, but what I want to talk about today is the distinction between act utilitarianism and rule utilitarianism, and this comes, you know, I'm thinking about this, there's, we, you have uh, Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, who, um, Mill, who uh, advanced the utilitarian theories, and Basically, we have two polar biases in, in utilitarianism as a whole. Uh, first, you have act utilitarianism. Well, I'm going to first explain rule utilitarianism because rule utilitarianism is the utilitarianism that people abide by, trying to get the most social utility by abiding by a moral code, uh, by abiding, abiding by moral rules, and doing things based on rules and any kind of any kind of government beyond that uh, government that 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 instantiates more moral codes and then that people who are rule utilitarians will um, believe that there are um, moral codes to to abide by and then there's act utilitarians um, who act on what JJC Smart calls expedience, who acts upon people who are act utilitarians do not normally um, abide by immoral code. They will act upon the way they will act upon whatever they calculate to be the the actions that produce the most intrinsic good. And basically, act utilitarians can often be ones who want to produce the, they can be, you know, a lot of people who ask who want the most desire and the most pleasure, and um, that's just a lot of what those two are. Now, the argument against rule utilitarianism is that if we abide by a moral code or a moral, moral rules, 
what are the chances that this can be totally wrong and we could, we're totally screwing everything up because we're believing in this in, in, in this institute moral code and this is what uh, gives rule utilitarianism its faults and then act utilitarianism gets faults because there's no moral code at all and whatever the person wants at any given time and whatever they calculate will be fulfilled now this includes you know hedonist desires or you know and it, it includes just whatever the person wants and whatever the person calculates to be the best good for them at that, at that moment so there's no moral code to structuralize any other any kind of any kind of um, any kind of way of believing anything knowing that that's right or good or whatever they just think that's good for them right now because they've calculated it that way and there's no way of knowing what, what one person calculates in one time is correctly right now now both sides have faults now there's a one person that there's one ethicist or there's one thinker there's one theorist that who's who's called uh, smart that's the person's name they will ba they basically combine the two in a way in that rule utilitarianism is abided by it because a moral code is is is, is instituted into whatever the, the, the society is yet at the same time in times of when you don't have time to you know when you I mean then actually this person is more of an act utilitarian than a rule utilitarian because there are times when you have to make a decision really really fast and you don't have time to calculate it yourself because you know because you because you do that because you're act utilitarian you know you don't always have time for that so you have a moral code to fall back on because you have some rule utilitarianism that you abide by or that you believe in so I, 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 I agree with this I, I agree that there's that there should be a mix between the both kinds of utilitarianism that one kind of utilitarianism is not good by itself because there's a lot of issues with you keep one of them but then there's there's other people who believe otherwise but what do you guys think do you think that there should be an act utilitarianism where we just whatever whatever problem or issue we have we just immediately um, figure it out and do our, do our own calculations as to and we, we figure out what we think has the most intrinsic good and we go after those things and we do those things because we think they have the most intrinsic good or do you guys think there should always be a rule utilitarianism to abide by where there's a moral code that we institute into, into society that we use to define and uh, figure out what our actions are to produce the most intrinsic good now or do you think there's a mix between them kind of like that guy, guy named or that uh, person named smart thinks this is the person who wrote, who wrote a big thing about utilitarianism um, what do you guys think I mean do, do you think that there do you think there's a mix of both of them or do you just I mean just just think about it I mean if you if you were in a big situation you know and you, you had to make you had to make a quick important decision really really fast use any example you want and figure out whether you would want a moral code to fall back on or do you, would you want to calculate everything out yourself as to what is intrinsically good in, in all cases even if you have minimal amount of time so I don't know think, think about that for a little bit and um, leave it leave something in the comments below or um, another thing last thing um, I do have the moderator bar open on my channel um, one person gave me gave a suggestion and I, I put I put in four four su su suggestions that you that you can vote on and you can write in your own suggestion for something I should do now my next video is going to be on existentialism so I'm going to introduce existentialism because uh, um, there's a they a uh, crush a discuss a something asking about that was put in the moderator module on my channel so I'm going to do that next video so 
tell me, tell, tell me, guys, what you think about this act versus rule utilitarianism thing? Because I think this is a thing, a issue that should be touched upon. Or do you, or or do you not think that utilitarianism is a thing we should have at all? Do you, or do you have another ethical theory that you want to think about, or do you want to discuss? So anyway, let me know. See you guys later.